the 2004D Wisconsin Extra Leaf Quarters. There's two varieties, the high leaf and the low leaf. These were discovered in Tucson, Arizona by Bob Ford in uh, December 11th, 2004. Rob Weiss and Ben Weinstein of Old Pueblo Coin in Tucson announced the discovery shortly thereafter. The uh, Florida Fun Show is a big show where most of uh, the major dealers uh, come at the beginning of the year and uh, I had the opportunity to get a couple of the quarters and bring it to the show and show a number of people including uh, Dave Bowers, David Hall, the people at NGC, people at uh, PCGS, and a number of uh, variety specialists. Uh, they were a big hit there, and uh, at that time they were dubbed the Extra Leaf Quarters by uh, Dave Bowers. And from there, it uh, looked like this would be a very, very big variety uh, for the collecting public. When I returned to Tucson after that show, I started buying them up for $50 per coin. This created a Wild West atmosphere in Tucson with people scrounging the banks trying to find quarters. At this time, we didn't know how rare they would be, and $50 uh, seemed like a, a very exorbitant price to some of the dealers in town, but uh, this uh, was the offer that was made at the time. Soon after, coins were also found in San Antonio, Texas, and surrounding towns. In February, reports were made of these finds. The extra leaf quarters were sent in for grading. Uh, NGC put together the three piece sets, which include the two variety coins and the non variety coin, and PCGS put their coins in singles the high leaf and low leaf. These, when these came back for grading, the highest graded ones, the Mint State 67 NGCs, were offered to the public for $1,100. This created a national sensation. Uh, I was, uh, at the time, on, featured on the cover of many, many newspapers around the country, including USA Today, for this offer. <laughs> and uh, they sold out very quickly. People that bought them put them on eBay right away, and uh, the prices took off. Some of these auctions had uh, 10,000 people watching them, and uh, it was just amazing. And within a month, the prices on the high-end sets, the 67s, went up to $1,700 and then subsided a little bit. The next year, in 2006, there was a speculative bubble that occurred uh, where you have uh, as many as 10 or 15 people uh, trying to buy up all the sets on eBay, and they drove the price of the uh, Mint State 67 uh, sets up to $7,000 and even higher. Uh, that was unsustainable, and soon after they dropped down to $3,000, uh, where, where they re remain today. Now, the rarity of the coins uh, is pretty clearly established by how many have been sent in for grading. You can see here the chart that shows how many total were graded. And um, in uh, 2007, uh, the chart ends. And the low leaf have a little over 8,000, the high leaf a little over 6,000. Now, since then, there's been a, in the past two years, there's been a slight increase but I believe most of this is due to resubmissions of coins, uh, not additional fines. As you can see here are some comparisons. Uh, other coins of similar rarity, 1937D three-legged buffalo nickel, 55 double die cent, and the high leaf and low leaf uh, all have similar mint, uh, submission totals and uh, similar rise over the past two years, uh, mostly due to resubmissions. This has been a, a presentation on the value and rarity of the 2004D Wisconsin X-Relief Quarters, narrated by Rick Snow. Thank you very much.